Hi there, everyone. Uh, today, I just wanted to do a quick little three minute video on how to use Google Forms and what Google Forms is. Basically, what I do is I use it to be able to uh, get people to create applications. You can see here on the screen, uh, a pre-listing questionnaire. So when I take a new listing, I will send it out to the sellers to uh, get some information together for me. I will also, um, uh, this next one here, for example, was a home buying seminar that we were creating. Uh, it's a registration for a home buying seminar. It's sort of a way that we can create some landing pages as well, very simplistic. But what I'm really doing is I'm looking for a questionnaire. Um, and so that's when I use Google Docs. So I'm gonna show you how simple this is. If we just go to blank doc, actually you wanna to go to docs.google.com forward slash forms. You'll see it right here. So you would go to docs.google.com forward slash forms. And it's gonna create the form for you. As we edit the document, it's gonna save it. So in this case, um, I'm just gonna create a master, mastermind questionnaire. Um, I won't worry about the form description now. I'm just gonna show you how I do it. So what we have the, the ability to do is create multiple questions. So what you would do is create the title of the question. Um, and in this case, I'm just going to, instead of a question, I'm just gonna get them to rank items. Um, uh, I was gonna say prospecting. Important is this to your business? Then we have a choice. We can take short answers. We can provide a whole paragraph. We can do multiple choice. I'm gonna do multiple choice in this case. I just wanna show you how easy it is. So in the case of option one, so we're gonna say one, very important. Option two, to somewhat important. And then three, not important at all. Now, if we had another question that we wanted to be just like it, maybe the question is different, but we still wanna rank it one, two, three, we can just hit the copy button here and it duplicates it. Uh, I'm just gonna select another title here. We're just gonna say phone follow-up. So all of a sudden I've made my second question. So that's one way to be able to really make it efficient. Uh, in the case of a listing questionnaire, I had had some long form questions as well. So if I wanted to, um, so one thing maybe, what are the three most important features that led you to buy this home. I generally tell sellers that I'm gonna be marketing to an avatar that's trying to be just like them. So if they can explain to me why it was so important that they bought the home and what they loved about it, I can advertise to the same, or to an individual that appreciates the same thing. So we can see here, we no longer want a multiple choice and there's a good chance that they're gonna go on for a while and I want to leave it for them to be able to go on for a while. So then I would just, put a long answer, let it be a paragraph. I want it to be required. I really want, if they only gave me three words um, or just you know tree, location, and price, then that's fine. That gives me an idea of what they're looking for and I can create the interaction. Um, something else that I may wanna do is I may wanna add a video in there. And so all we're gonna need to do is get a YouTube URL video and we can pop it in there. In this case, 
and we can just search anything. I'm just going to put in my info, search it, and I'll grab any video that comes up just so you see how it works. Okay. So what do is select the item. We see it's blue. Hit select, and it will actually embed the video in here. So this allows me, an example is with that seller questionnaire, it allows me to speak to them directly, let them know what we need and why we need it, and hope for a little bit more interaction. Uh, we can change font in the document. Uh, we can also add images throughout to make it a little more interactive, and we can separate it in sections. Now, the reason why this is so valuable is because once we've created the scheme that we want, we can change the colors, we can change headers and everything. And I strongly recommend that you pop in and give it a try and play with it. Because what it's going to do is when somebody uh, fills out the questionnaire, it automatically creates a spreadsheet for you that you can always go back and refer to. So it's one location, you're gonna have all your seller questionnaires, you're gonna have all your first time home buying seminar registrations, anything like that in there. The second that your first time home buying seminar is off or it's full, you can turn it off. So you don't have to wait for it. You can quickly have access to the full spreadsheet just by clicking on it. And you can also download all the information by CSVs. So anyway, I just wanted to quickly share that with you. I think it's a phenomenal tool that I like to use frequently because once I spend the effort and create the form once, then I can just use it over and over and over again. Um, thanks everyone for watching. If you like the information, do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to be regularly updated with any of these little tips, tools, and tricks. Thanks.